Welcome to Nashimi News. I'm Rizwan Asad, and I have with me a veteran uh, politician, a statesman, a lawyer of the Supreme Court, Brijesh Kalappa, who till recently was in the Congress, and today he has joined the Aam Aadmi Party of Karnataka. It seems uh, it's, uh, Congress has been losing all their uh, stalwarts uh, from past one year. We have seen uh, Mr. Sam Ibrahim, Gulam Nabi Azad, Chinder Prasad. Vidraj Sindhya and now uh, the Congress has lost a very very good uh, spokesperson who was defending Congress uh, uh, during the crisis whether it was court cases or with the coming on the TV debates and uh, he has been neglected. He is not a man for power. He has never asked for power from past 30 years I know him. He never asked for power. He said a self-respect is more important than power. And today I have with me Brijesh Kalappa, a very humble, a very honest person and uh, at the same time he's got a very uh, visionary type uh, thing. So what made you to leave Congress and then why did you join Aam Aadmi Party? See, like I explained, Vizwanji, first is that as far as the Aam Aadmi Party is concerned, this is a party which I always had suited my profile because uh, for various reasons, simplicity, and uh, that uh, I don't have an arrogant kind of attitude. And uh, three, my pol politics has been completely honest. So for this reason, this suited my profile. One. Two is the fact that as far as the uh, Congress party is concerned, Congress party, even after 25 years, I can't expect to become an MLA there. When you join the political party as a worker, the party expects you to remain as a worker throughout your life. How many instances do you want of people who have never been able to become MLAs? Why? Because MLA positions are reserved for somebody's son, somebody's daughter, somebody's relative. And mafia. And or the Real extraordinary estate. money, right? Or another route is there which I don't, you know, don't want to speak about. Now, uh, when this was the case, it was clear that the Congress party <coughs> was just not interested in keeping me. Just as I, I, I may have been interested in defending the Congress party, Congress party was just not interested in keeping me. So do you think that uh, in this Congress party, I know in the past 15-20 years, you've been seeing that a loyal, hardcore uh, grassroots workers who have been stood by the uh, party as well as they have been loyal to the party, they have been rejected. So one of the reasons you said that, uh, you know, there is nepotism is there, it is there in every field. So, but why do you think that uh, they are, uh, think, because uh, you are, uh, you will overtake them or you will become famous or you will become, you doing a better job, is there one of the reasons or you are not uh, doing things which they uh, wanted you to do? No. Talent has no place or in talent. the Congress. Talent has no place in the In fact, I just mentioned that if Mahindra Singh Noni had joined the Congress party, he would have uh, been serving uh, Rohan Gauskar or uh, Tandurkar's son, right? So he would have had no role in the in uh, Congress. In the Congress, if uh, he cried, if he wept, then he, they would say, "Please go and supply water for uh, Rohan Gauskar. He was very thirsty." No, but uh, Congress uh, has been always accusing, saying that now the leaders who have left us are gone. They have enjoyed the maximum power. They have, uh, you know, everything, and now they are going and speaking against us. That's one of the allegations. And same allegation they will say to you tomorrow. So what are you to say about it? Well, that's okay. The point is that to have I benefited even one rupee from the Congress party? Can anybody even from the Congress party or from the BJP or from the JDS or anybody say that Vijay Karapa has earned even one rupee in from politics? Nobody can say that. So there's no, there's no point in, you know, saying such a thing. So do you blame the uh, high command in Delhi or the Karnataka uh, state? Karnataka, Karnataka. Karnataka. What, what made you? Because see, you are close to both the powers. You are close to Siddharamaya, you are close to DK Shivkumar, you are close to even Malikarjun Kharge. What, what made you, you know, like, you know, come out of that clutch? Because, you know... No, as you know, I was denied a ticket in 2018. Right? Yes. And uh, in 2023, it was obvious to me that they were not going to win. So they basically wanted... Brijesh Kalapa to be a worker. I was a worker for 25 years. Right? So if they expect that I will continue to be a worker for the next 25 years. This is saying leaders can't be leaders, leaders can't be leaders. So. No, no, that's why I said that uh, if in the Congress party system, Mahendra Singh Dhoni would have been a water boy. 
for the Indian cricket team. Do you think that uh, Congress, uh, this infighting in Congress going on for power struggle? Because we, 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 we got a rectangular power struggle. Definitely. We got Kharge on definitely. side, we got uh, DK Shukumar, we got uh, Sijaram on side. Do you think in this uh, uh, fight, good leaders like you have been, uh, you know, been, uh, been uh, grounded and uh, have been neglected? No, I don't think it's a question of uh, you know, a fight causing this. But uh, genuinely, I don't think that uh, the state leadership is interested in uh, having anybody with any amount of talent. They would much rather prefer their own family members around. You do not have any godfather in uh, Congress? I had been appointed to the AICC by Mrs. Gandhi. And after that, of course, it's the state leadership's duty to take care of them. Did you at any time try to meet Sonia Gandhi or Rahul no, no, Gandhi? Had, to be very frank, I had actually written to her uh, and uh, she had also responded. So, what, what are you going to say about Sonia Gandhi or Rahul Gandhi? Because no, I have the highest respect for you. And uh, your Mr. Venu Gopal, who was in charge of the state. Why take individual change? So, you are uh, very happy that you have come out of Congress or you are feeling sad that you left your party and came? Because now you have to start a new beginning. No, I am willing to start a new beginning. I mean, like I said, my life is a life of struggle. I have not expected that, you know, I will get some publicity recognition. In fact, to be very frank with you, uh, the ruling party would have loved to have me, but I chose not to go there. You, you, did you get any offer from the BJP? Did you get any offer from BJP? Yeah, yeah. Why did you decline? Oh, because it doesn't suit me. Yeah, I don't uh, What is the future of Aam Admi Party in Karnataka now that we have seen Aam Admi Party in Delhi and then we have seen in Punjab, now they are you know, ca 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 causing uh, very good uh, news in Gujarat. Now with elections on the corner in Karnataka, not only BBL BBM, the assembly election, how do you see Aam Admi Party as a party who is going to give a fight? Manjur, uh, I think the uh, Aam Admi Party is a party of the future and uh, the party will certainly do well because um, to the extent I have seen, I think uh, Mr. Kejriwal has an extraordinary insight into the voters' mind. So he's able to fathom what the motor is thinking. And I think uh, like Mahatma Gandhi, who picked up issues, uh, Mr. Kejriwal is able to pick up the right issues. How many seats will you be contesting with? In the assembly and the... No, I'm not, I don't know. Sir, so there's always allegation that Aam Admi Party is the B team of the BJP, which the Congress has been telling you have been there. Yes. So what is what this allegation, how do you, you know... Uh, uh, so uh, let me tell you this. See, if, if for instance, let's assume I contest from a constituency in say Bangalore, do I expect that it's only going to be the Congress the voters who are going to vote for me? Definitely not. Right? One, it's a new political party. So, there would be BJP voters who also would be voting for me. So, does it mean that one Congress party doesn't put up a good fight against the BJP? And it also says, no, I don't put up a good fight, but nobody else should enter the fray. Is that an argument which will anybody will accept? Right? Ultimately, you must realize that the Congress party's image has taken a beating, one way or another. And those people who are managing the Congress party have not been able to uh, pick up, pull up their socks and do a good job of showing the party in better light. So, they are losing ground across the country. Now, is it right for the Congress party to say that, look, I am not able to put up a good fight against them. But nobody should enter the fray and spoil the poor fight I am putting. But sir, there is allegation that Aam Aadmi Party belongs to the elite class. They don't have grassroots workers, you know, people don't come out to vote for them. I know, and they are trying to divide you know, and benefit uh, one political party. So, what are you to say? Because, uh, because you are entering Bangalore in a new way. No, you see, you must understand that in Delhi, the main fight of the Bharatiya Janata Party was against the Aam Aadmi Party in Delhi. In uh, in uh, Punjab, the main fight of the SAD BJP was against the Amadi Party. In Gujarat, the main fight of the Congress of the Bharatiya Janata Party is against the Amadi Party. And now in Karnataka, so we'll see how things develop. Now I've just joined the political party. Any more leaders uh, from uh, Congress would be joining Amadi Party? I have party. a feeling many will come. One message to budding politicians who are there, not only in Congress or in other parties, like you know, like they said, once a worker, you remain a worker, they are not let to grow. Do you think in the Aam Party also, same thing would happen tomorrow, you will leave and go? 
if you are not uh, given a position or you are not given a ministerial berth, would you think that uh, same uh, how other parties are, same these parties, and why is Aam Aadmi Party different? Is the uh, question. One, it's new. I think novelty has its own merit. And two is the fact that uh, this genuinely stand for something different. The fight against corruption and uh, the you know the kind of policies they have. I think these are all uh, going to catch the attention of the people. Your message? Message is that uh, workers from all political parties, whether it's the BJP and for, or whether it's the Congress party, I think uh, you have scope in the Aam Aadmi Party because uh, if you remain in either the BJP or in the Congress, you will remain as workers. Here you might come as a worker, but you can also become an MLA. Okay. So Bridges Kalappa, who quit the Congress and joined the Aam Aadmi Party today, was very forthcoming, saying that you know, in other political parties, once you are a worker, you are a worker. Nepotism is there, and uh, there is no uh, respect for uh, workers. And he said, in the Aam Aadmi Party, which is a party who is fighting for corruption, there is a scope for you to come up in life and fight for the cause for the people. Rizwan Asa, signing off from Ashimun News.